All right, let's take a quick look at the drawing program inside of OpenOffice. I have in front of me just the basic startup menu, and I'm going to select drawing. And I'm kind of presented with just a basic drawing template and a pages pane. Um, if I had a number of different uh, pages inside my drawing, it would appear on the left-hand side. If you notice, uh, a lot of the buttons up at the top are have a lot in common and are the same buttons as the other programs in OpenOffice. I've got a navigator, a hyperlink button, a zoom button, print, export directly to PDF, and so forth. I can also create a text document with right inside the draw program, a spreadsheet, and a presentation as well. So it has that functionality. <clears throat> so I can also toggle off the page pane and just work with my one page uh, drawing template or my drawing palette to begin with. Um, I like to keep the page pane on and by going to view I can also look at some of the toolbars that I might want to add to my desktop. Right now I have a, the drawing tools, line and filling, the standard and the color bar. But I'd also might want to put some text formatting on there and perhaps I'd want to put on uh, the arrows. So those are some things that you can do. You also might notice that I have the color palette at the bottom and I can um, remove that if I see fit. So what do I have uh, as far as drawing shapes? At the bottom I have my drawing tools and I have your standard rectangles, ellipses, um, connectors, basic shapes and so forth. A lot of these have a number of different um, varieties inside of the tool itself and by clicking on the the arrow next to them such as basic shapes it gives you an idea of what shapes you can add to your drawing so let's start with a basic shape I'm just going to add a square to my drawing template and I have some resize bars on those so suppose I wanted to rotate that I can simply um, edit that by going up to modify and flip or rotate and now I have red indicators on each side of the the shape and I can rotate that any way I want to and reposition that to anywhere on the drawing I wanted to. So that's a good feature. Um, suppose I wanted to also add a, an ellipse to that and rotate that as well I can rotate that and I can go up to modify and it can also arrange to if I have that ellipse selected I can go to modify and bring that to the front so that's to the front or bring it to the back send it to the back so that the square is now to the front so those are just some basic drawing tools one of, one of the things I think uh, are really useful for, for drawings um, in terms of uh, functionality is creating flowcharts and uh, one of the drawing tools on your drawing menu are flowcharts. <clears throat> A useful tool. By clicking on those arrows I can create different flowchart diagrams um, and shapes. So I'm going to add a couple of things here. Okay just to create kind of a quick flow chart diagram with a couple of shapes. I'm going to distribute those around. And of course all flow charts are not complete without their connectors. So over here in the connectors menu I'm going to create just an arrow with a point at the end. And I'm going to click and I'm going to hold. And there's a connector. And let's do that for some of the others. Perhaps one with a arrow at each end. I'm going to click and I'm going to hold. And I'm going to do one more. Now, suppose I wanted to add some text to those connector lines. I'm going to focus on my text tool. First I'm going to select the line that needs text 
and I'm going to add a text tool to that. And there we go. You have a gallery button and you have a font work gallery button. By clicking on those, you can also add some of the fonts you might be familiar with uh, in Microsoft Office, Arch font work, um, rotated font work, shadowed font work, and so forth. And you can add those as well. You have a number of effects available to you. Drawing is a pretty powerful program, and give it a look.